it's a trivial pursuit and certainly um, our version is one that encourages and increases the use of our language both in the questions that are asked and the responses given. <laughs> Um, a real celebration tonight, not only of um, the actual uh, part of the quiz night, but more about being able to share our language in this way. And I, I think it's uh, proven to be an awesome vehicle that we can encourage our children and our young people to be able to uh, maintain and sustain our language. I am a teacher and so tonight I'm the learner and having to learn from um, our older ones and being able to understand what it's like for them being in an English world. But everything's in the language. And so for somebody like myself who um, is not very fluent in the language, um, it is a really good opportunity and a learning curve, you know, for me. And so I have to listen carefully. And so if I'm, um, if this is what it's like for me, imagine what it would be like for our children. Um. I think first and foremost it starts in the home so it's really important for our parents uh, and our grandparents to um, express the interest in helping their children um, develop their language and also understanding more so their culture and their identity for who they are because you know a language um, reflects a person's identity especially with their culture. <laughs> So here at Swapik, very embracing and inclusive of all of the cultures in this community. But this week for um, this National Week, we're celebrating being a Cook Island. And we're certainly being proud, as we've seen tonight, of the many activities we've undertaken. Um, that it is something that's very close and dear to our heart and one that we want to share with everyone else. <laughs>